For the biggest part, Amsterdam Dance Event is basically a consequence of the success of dance music in the, in the Netherlands. It is originally from, uh, from the US. However, in the US, dance music emerged, but it stayed mostly confined to being a scene-based uh, genre. The fact that it had such a marginal position in, in the US was, actually ex was exactly what people in the UK especially uh, valued so much. Because it was scene-based, it was also authentic, uh, it was uncommercial, it was untouched, so to say, and therefore it was also like worth of discovery for British cultural entrepreneurs and say like, hey, we have something new here, we have something interesting, which is not discovered yet, let's make this into uh, a new popular music genre. And they really invested in that and then um, ensured the popularity within, uh, within the UK. In the Netherlands, we basically uh, always look what happens in the US and what happens also in the UK. And those people that in the Netherlands kind of were the first to adopt house music were unlike their counterparts in the, in the US, uh, much less marginalized. So they were, for example, located in capitals rather than being in, in, in more peripheral cities such as Chicago and Detroit. Uh, they were people with valuable connections. Uh, so, for example, connections to mainstream media. The first un like, relatively like, underground parties were both in the United States and in the Netherlands and also in the UK. Uh, they were all three successful, but the big difference was that in the Netherlands, um, these, these first house music parties actually got extensive mainstream media attention. In the US, that was unthinkable that it would uh, happen. So the very first house, officially released house song is uh, On and On by Jesse Sander. It has like all these like characteristic uh, characteristics of house. So, for example, most notably, it's being made with um, a Roland uh, TR808, uh, also with some synthesizers. It's basically building on disco records, and it has this like typical uh, house music sound. Things like a genre like disco is not seen as dance music by a lot of people. But there will also for sure be people who would uh, disagree with that and would actually say like dance, disco music is basically an early form of, of dance music. And, um, and I think the best example of that or like a very maybe uh, the best known example of that is uh, I Feel Love by uh, Donna Summer. You can raise the question indeed like okay but does this sound fundamentally different than, than uh, a house music record such as uh, On and On. MCM Dance Event is basically a consequence of the success of dance music in the Netherlands. So uh, here you see, for example, the popularity of uh, dance in the, um, in the Dutch charts, uh, the quarterly number of hits. So it starts in uh, 1985, goes all the way up to uh, 2005. And the peak of dance was actually in 1995. So around that time, and even a little bit later, it was actually the moment that ADE was uh, initiated. ADE basically emerged when dance music was already very popular. I still think that it also contributed uh, to, the, to the success of this, uh, or to the development and professionalization of this music genre. So first of all, what these professional events do, like the Cannes Film Festival, is that they create like this huge mutual attention, like a moment that uh, creates a mutual attention focus. That all the people in a field basically look in the same direction and that also ensures that it's not just like um, separate little islands that people are, are, uh, are living on, but that they are all part of this uh, bigger field. So in that sense, Events like Amsterdam dance events also generate these like really big communities of which uh, people are part. Are you going to attend Amsterdam dance event this year? I should definitely have a look on the program. I might be already a little bit late, but I think I should go and uh, check out some nice uh, concerts. Yeah.